In this introduction tutorial, we will provide a very brief overview of how easy it is to create a template using Artist here. When you load the program, you're greeted with a pop-up window that asks you what type of template you would like to create. In this case, we're going to choose a Joomla template. Go to the bottom, click on the Create button. Little hourglass disappears, and we are all set to go. Across the top, you can see there are several different tabs for editing the template's appearance in specific areas. Each of these tabs contains sub-items which allow you to change the appearance of the template in that specific area. While you can go into each template area and build a template, we are going to make one quickly using the suggestion tools that are built in. On the Ideas tab, we will notice a large icon with a light bulb on it that says Suggest Design. In this case, all we have to do is click on it until it finds a design along the lines of what we were thinking. Okay, here's a nice looking template. So we'll go ahead and use this. Let's move on to colors and fonts. Here you can have it automatically suggest colors. Or you can use the drop down. Let's say we want a little bit darker template. Let's try sunset. Okay, that looks good. Let's take a look at the layout. Since it put all of our menus on the right hand side, let's go ahead and move those over to the left. We could also add another column if we wanted to. Let's take a look at the background. Here we have several different options as well. In this case, not real fond of the glare. It doesn't really match what we have in the header here. So we'll change that. pattern behind there to match what we have in the header. Since this is just a little bit wider than what we wanted, let's go ahead and make it 800 wide instead. You can see when you go ahead and make any of these changes, such as with the colors, um, different ideas, it all gets carried through the entire template and everything's adjusted automatically. Although we have a nice header area, let's add an image in there as well. We can also add one from file. Say if this was a young lady's website that sold flowers or whatever, we could have a picture of her up there. Under the menu tab, here we can change how our horizontal navigation appears. Right now it has a button type style to it. Let's take a look at how it would uh, look and function under tabs instead. So here you can see what it looks like when they get highlighted. And overall I think the site's looking pretty good. So at this point we won't even bother with changing how the articles appear, the blocks, buttons, or the footer. Instead we'll go right up to our export button. Click on that. That'll give us another pop-up window. We go ahead and put in the name of our template. We can also choose where we want to export it to and how we want to export it. Either as a set of files and folders or as a zip, zip archive. So we'll click OK. Since we'd created a template there earlier, it asks us if we want to overwrite it. We we'll click OK again. And we're done. Our template's completed.
we can go to the folder that we added export to. See that all the files are indeed there. They're all set, ready to be uploaded to our Joomla website to be installed so we can use this template we just created. So thank you for watching this short introduction video. In the future we will have tutorial videos to demonstrate some of the more in-depth functions available.